Check. Oh, tell me who's saying <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> okay. Um. I love watching that thing just like go. Because <laughs> it, it adjusts automatically. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. What do you think about the Dallas Fort Worth hardcore scene? Well, it's not as big as I would like it to be because, you know, you get, you get a lot of underground bands that not very many people have heard, so they don't want to take a chance on going out and the band being a lot of, you know, well, I can't say it, but, uh, yeah. And uh, there's a lot of bands out there that aren't that great, and people just don't want to gamble their money on going to see a band that ain't worth seeing. But in the larger scenes like L.A. and New York and blah, 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 yeah. Uh, <clears throat> people just go to see a, a band just because it's a band and there's something to do. Uh, what do you like or dislike about the DFW hardcore scene? It's a lot of negative energy a lot of it because you see a lot of fights and a lot of people all trying to prove their egos and how macho they are and stuff like that like when you're you know like you're you'll be slamming and a lot of people will try to uh, and see how many people they can beat up or you know stuff like that is there anything positive about the scene yeah it's promoting a lot of free speech type that you know you don't get in the commercial the commercial scene <laughs> yeah um what is your attitude? What is your attitude toward the? God damn it! Camera dog. They're imitating him. Okay, if I can get the paper to. What is your attitude toward the clubs, stores, and fans who support the underground? Well, most of them are nice and uh, and. Except for, except for sedition, those guys are a bunch of jerks, man. <laughs> but you know, it's it's a it's a cool scene, I guess. Uh, where are we? Guys like well, then we'll get mugged. How how long have you been in the DFW scene? Uh, not a year yet. So, oh, uh, as a band or? Yeah, my my band hasn't been in for a while, but. We're hoping to get, you know, get... You personally? Oh, I've been in the, into the scene about two, three years, but I've never been, like, a staple of the scene, you know. Not everybody knows me. So, yeah. Uh, what, was you like, what was it like when you started playing on the scene, and how has it changed? Well, it hasn't changed at all since we've only been playing for about half a year, but it's, it's pretty cool. People are supportive and stuff, and... You know, if they like you, they like you. If they don't, they won't come to see you. That's all there is to it. That's it. You just gotta stay out of the picture. <laughs> For cable. Hey, I'm funny. We're alive. We're bouncing. We're on the tail. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Go ahead and ask me the name. <laughs> what are your names and what band are you from? Sedition. Your name, please? Turner. Scott. Snot. Van Blarkham. Pete Lee. Sedition. Johnny Banana. <laughs> Sedition. Eddie. Eddie. Johnny, Eddie. Sedition. Johnny Banana. <laughs> On drum. Does that mean it's curved? Johnny Jim Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Post our shit up. We're poster boys. You're what? Well, I mean, I don't think it's soon enough. <laughs> well, this okay. is my little brother. <laughs> That's name one of my songs. Uh, what do you think about the Dallas Fort Worth hardcore scene? I think that I think that the uh, club owners that are out here need to open their eyes up and get more clubs happening for all of us to play in. Scene, the scene is good. Fort Worth is lame. Scene, the scene is good. Hey, the scene is good, but the clubs aren't. <laughs> but That's the, it. But the fans, they remain fucking but hey, number one. What? But hey, man, this guy over here, Mike Hawkins, is going to make the club scene happen. Yeah, yeah. He's the so scene right. maker right here. This, that's right. You know what? He brings it to town. He started it. Uh, 
What do you? <laughs> what do you like or dislike about the DFW hardcore scene? There's not enough places to play. Hairspray. Hairspray on any band. Any band with hairspray, we don't like them. You borrowed mine just a while ago. If they have a leather jacket, that means they're trying to act like us. <laughs> I don't like it. What is your attitude toward the clubs, stores, and fans who support the underground? All the way. Come on, you can come up with better questions than that. What do you think we're going to say? Oh, we don't really like them. Because they like our music, why would we like them? <laughs> Come on, yeah, of course we 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 love them. Man, anybody that comes to our show is cool with us. They're we friends of ours. Shit, yeah, I wouldn't sneaking. say that. We ain't got no money. That's why we need a label. You if you're listening, we need a label. Yes, we are. Uh, how long have you have you been in the DFW scene? Too long. Uh, Too long. Not since day one. We we started playing. Well, crossover metal hit Dallas, I think, when Rigor Mortis started playing in here. Crossover metal. Now, the punk scene. I really don't know what he knows all the answers on that. I know it's. I think it started at the Hot Club or Metamorphosis, and then the Circle A Ranch, Twilight Room. All those places are all gone. But the crossover metal scene, I think Rigor Mortis started that. They're the ones that said, you know, that. Uh, as far as in the metal crowd goes, quit, yeah, quit play, quit wearing the spam panties and didn't play anybody else's music, and all the club owners were telling them, you know, that all all these all the bands that were wearing panties that are men were telling them, oh man, you guys ain't gonna make it to nothing. Look at them, they're on Capitol Records, you know, because they ain't posing like homo women, you know, women with dicks. They just play their music. They ain't worried about what they look like. That's right, man. Why should you matter? What does it matter what you look like as long as you're playing right? <laughs> they didn't skimp on the meat. Right. They didn't skimp on the meat. But it wouldn't have, the crossover metal scene wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for the punk scene that was here first because that's where we crossed over into at Circle A Ranch is where Rigor Morris first. That was their first uh, place to play. First actual club they played in. I don't know if everybody knew that, but that was the first place they played was a Circle A Ranch. In fact, Page I think three. that him and Chris Lee booked him in there. Mike Hawkins and Chris Lee hey, got him hey. in a gig. What we're trying to say is the fans are cool, but Texas needs to come a long way before the metal scene's going to be right. But the fans are great, but it needs to come a long way of the crossover scene, and that's where it's at because you get all kinds of crowds together at once. Hell yeah. It's better. Skip the list. <laughs> I think they covered it all. They just played the gig. People came out and they supported them. And that's what needed to be done. And it needed some more people out there. I just, I just don't, I just like to have big shows, big people show up for big shows. Because that's what, that, that's what, sh that shows you that you support bands and that you like their music and that's the only way they're going to get a record contract that's the only way they're going to it doesn't matter wait wait um, give us, tell us your names and what band you're from. Steve Murphy um, of Process Reveal. Craig Reeves of Process Reveal. Um, what do you like and dislike about the Dallas-Fort Worth hardcore scene? Mm, uh, that's nice. uh, well, you know, the people running around without any head, um, ha hair on their head are pretty opinionated, and we just, you know, I guess pretty much everybody's doesn't like that because they mess. Everybody did you. It yeah. has long hair. <laughs> They just kind of mess up the shows, and that's why there isn't much of a hardcore scene, in our opinion, you know. Yeah. Everybody's afraid to come out and stuff. You saw that tonight. <laughs> so. What was it? What was it? The what they said were uh, lazy skinheads who don't go get our hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we are. Lazy. Oh, is there anything positive about the scene that you like? Hmm. Well, I think there's a lot of young people out there. I mean, it's just a matter of reaching them, you know, if they'll come to our shows and stuff and getting the shows set getting up. Shows set up, yeah. The honest, exactly. place, the honest Place bid it, you know, so just like a lot of other clubs. Arcade is about the only place left to play. 
Joe's for garage. <laughs> Joe's garage. Well, that, Carter like, had some choice words to say about Joe's, Joe's garage. <laughs> well, it's pretty pretty nifty place. Um, how long have you been on the club scene? As a fan and in your band? Well, I was in a band called Delta Dry, and we, we were playing what three years ago, yeah. playing around three years ago. So we've been, we've been, we've been putting up with this for a while. And um, by the way, our our favorite band is Scum of the Earth, and we go to, we go to all the drummer, the drummer, except for the drummer is a fag. <laughs> but um, he's cute though. We know that. <laughs> but um, what else was I supposed to say? <laughs> Positive we've things. Positive? Process reveals the one year anniversary is September 26th, so we've been playing for a year and how many, three, four months now. Yeah. It's how long Process Reveals been together. Yeah. And four drummers. <laughs> We're on our fourth drummer. How has the scene changed since you started with it? Gotten deader and deader and deader and deader. <laughs> it's hard to say because, you know, we don't exactly pack them in on shows lately, but I mean, what you know. Lately? What shows lately? lately? July. Uh, we're being negative, but we hope that some somehow we're going to get people to come out, you know. Hopefully we won't have to kill any chickens or anything <laughs> like that, you know. But, yeah, ooh. Oh, oh, I wonder who did that. Iggy Pop? Yeah, it was Iggy Pop, that's it. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Doesn't he look, does, did you ever watch Sesame Street? Did you? You know that guy who's here? A, B, C, D. You know that, that, that piano player?